Hi, my name is Amy and I'm with Johnson County Public Library in Indiana at our White River Branch. Today I'm going to show you how to make jewelry, charms, key rings, and anything really you want to make out of items that you might have in your house and from your recycling. We're going to make shrimp plastic using number six recyclable plastic that you might have at home in your trash. <laughs> I personally eat a lot of cookies, so I have bakery boxes aplenty. Uh, when you are looking for plastic to turn into shrink plastic, you're going to look for the recyclable triangle with a number six inside. Number six plastic is made by actually heating it and stretching it out. So when you reheat it, it will uh, shrink back and reform. Right now, it's kind of thin and wobbly. After you make it into something and bake it in the oven, it gets thick and hard. To draw onto your shrink plastic, you're going to need permanent markers, Sharpies, anything like that. You can use uh, something to trace. So if you have a comic book, if you have a picture, if you watch a lot of anime and read manga, then uh, you know you can trace your favorite characters, you can print stuff off the internet, whatever you want. You're gonna draw with your markers directly onto the plastic. Because it's shrink plastic, whatever you draw needs to be about three times larger than you want it to end up. Basically, when I did this little Junimo, he started off about half the size of this plastic lid and then he shrank up in the oven. So I'll just draw what I want on my plastic. So I'm just gonna freehand something so we'll see how that goes. Usually I would trace whatever I was gonna make but in this case we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna just draw a little sleepy kitty. Little sleeping eyes. I would do whiskers, but that would be kind of hard to cut out, so maybe we won't have whiskers. Maybe just a few. I changed my mind. And then I can take any colors I want and color him in. So this is going to be a blue and yellow and orange kitty, maybe. I don't even know. You can just do whatever you like. When you're done drawing your design, you're going to want to cut it out. So grab your scissors and cut around your design. Because the whiskers are so delicate, I'm just going to leave those as one piece instead of trying to cut around them. But I'll cut around the rest of my sleepy kitty closer to the black outline. Be careful when you're cutting that you don't smear your ink because it isn't baked yet, so it's still a little bit smeary. All right. And there he is. If you'd like to make your design into a charm or a key ring, go ahead and take a hole punch or the end of your scissors and just go ahead and make your hole before you bake it. And now we're ready for the oven. You want to preheat your oven to about 350 degrees. You need a, some sort of cookie sheet, and if you use a pan, you do wanna line it with foil or baking paper. Now we're ready to go to the oven, and we'll show you how your shrink plastic will shrink. So my oven's preheated to 350 degrees. 
I'm gonna put my shrink plastic cat right in on the rack. Be careful. You probably want to use a pot holder, which I did not do, so please use a pot holder. <laughs> it only takes a minute or two for it to shrink. I like to watch it because it will curl up and then flatten back out when it's ready. You can see how much our little cat shrank up in the oven. He started off this big and now he's half his size. He's ready to go to be a necklace, an earring, a charm, or whatever I want. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to make your own shrink plastic charms from things you have at home and in your recycling bin. Thank you for watching and for more information go to pageafterpage.org.